Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to target even elements using jQuery. You can also target elements based on the positions using odd or even selectors. Note that jQuery is zero index, which means that the first element in the selection has a position of zero. This can be a little confusing as counterintuitively odd selects the second element position, so one, on the fourth element position three and so on. So odd uh, selects the second element position, so one. Hmm. Um, okay. Here's how you would target all the odd elements within the class of target and give them the class. So here, we all the elements in the class, so each of these buttons, this is each a, a target. Uh, they all have the class of uh, target, right? Because we've given them a class here. Target, target, target. This button, button, button. These are all targets. I'm going to spread this out and make it a little, so I just can make it a little bit more legible. Um... I like to do this, and I, everybody who's watching all these videos, they know that this is annoying because I've been doing it with each one, but I think that it makes a lot more sense if you lay your code out so that it's easily, easy to read. So like here we have a row, our column, and then under div is a well. And then each one of these buttons here, one, two, three, is a target. And so if we were to take this guy, this bit of code here, and put it up here, we'd see target odd. So we're moving this one, this one, this one. So it's counting 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it's animating the shake on the odd ones, but the other ones aren't having that element happen, right? So we wanted to select all the even ones and giving them the class of animated and shake. Remember that even refers to the position of elements with zero based numbers. So look, we'll see even bounces with one. So it's kind of counterintuitive. Um, and it's also not organized by what number the target is. It's based on the uh, position they are in the DOM. Um, but yeah, you run the test and you see that that passes. Um, I think this is pretty straightforward and uh, it's getting to be kind of a, a wild example. So I'm not going to go into much more detail about that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, look, you see that did it again. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next lesson.